we didn't enjoy that game. Obviously, this is where the result. But even from the start, we were talking about this, Mosey, uh, prior to the game, prior to the start. They, they, psychologically, they weren't the same team. Now, that's the difference between them and with FEU and them in game number one. But now that they got their feet wet, now that they've got that game one under their belt, I don't think it's too late for them to recover. Obviously, FEU has done it before. They did it last year. They came back from a set uh, uh, a game down to win the championship. La Salas, all the tools. This will boil down to how they are mentally and how their their hearts are going to be in this game. Because talent-wise, everybody there. knows this. They they even called the championship already. But when it comes to the finals, there are a lot of intangibles playing as factors you know, the crowd, the pressure, the expectations and all of that but now they got their feet wet na ano na, na ampun na ng konti itong Lasalo Game 1 yeah, so let's see how they will react to that and how they will react actually to the loss exactly. of the first game ngayon natin makikita yung character ng team na to they, they showed us their character when they beat FEU to try to get back their first loss their only loss in the league the finals is a different thing a lot of athletes and a lot of sports would consider this game number two na parang ah ganun pala ang feeling ng finals ah oh ngayon alam ko na sige laro na tayo oh with the winning tradition that they have I'm pretty sure the adjustment would be easier for De La Salle pero sabi ko ni Manila Santos it's really hard to win tournament this is all about your mental state already and execution of the plays that you have practiced as April has said the best setter gives the racial and who did not win any individual award but you'll probably say she is the ambassador of, of the UAP women's volleyball tournament there's no doubt true, about that so true and uh, she also gives the same energy like Manila Santos gives uh -huh. to the and the Dapis to everyone. and the leadership Rachel has provided so much leadership, especially in the games where they went five sets. And how many games did they play? They played six five setters with a 5 1 record. I mean, they know who the experience is. Exactly, that made them a stronger team. And they didn't be so good last night. And they continues her stellar play from game number one. After that hit, smiled, yep. and she, they're kind of enjoying this game. Really, momentum is now with FAU. And this is the Morada that was expected this year. This is the Morada that we did not see during the elimination round. And even she admitted it herself in her first game interview with Lisa. She said something. Kailangan, kailangan siya. It was quite an erratic year for Marada, but you know, she's come to play in the finals, and really, that's the most important thing, especially today with Chico. Oh, what a block by Marada on Alarca. A dose of her own medicine from Rosie as the best blocker. And a single block there by Marada. The best blocker getting blocked. Living it up here as Rachel. Speaking of errors, that is that one Waterloo of La Salle all throughout the tournament. We're not only talking about game one, we're talking about the whole tournament. Even in their wins, they commit a lot of, a lot of errors. Charlene Cruz is there. Santos, off speed, Bacchus, Diggs, Jose, Morata was wide, but it was touch, it was touch. They gave it to FEU. Both teams. Now I see that LaSalle is more aggressive and it seems yeah. like now they're enjoying the game better. You know
know, for every you without Shira Gonzalez, the emotion is done. But this day on, you have to go back to you know, the, the way you play the game. Of course, affected him because you know the game when your starter is out of that lineup. Something that you've been preparing for every game, every the whole year, setting up this rotation. How much of that? is going to be missed here in this game. Well, I tell you, both with Shira out, it's going to be a lot. So it will really depend on, let's say, at least two players coming from FEU. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. He puede isa lang to step up. At least two players should really step up for FEU. I feel that they can see and avoid. And there's no better player who executes the quick play for FEU than Shira. Morada does it every now and then, but it's just not as snappy as a Shira Gonzalez. Para naman sa Lasal, Mozi, kailangan hindi nila iniisip itong awala si Shira. Right. Kailangan laro pa rin. And they really have to come on strong on oh. the front set. Give that point to the captain, Mozi. Nina Santos was the one who saved that play. And look at that window with the pose after that. Look at that save by Santos. And the block by that win says... And the block. Everybody's into it here at the arena. Nina Santos with the serve. They say our best setter goes to Divas. Set. We go back to her. Divas. Bohin. Martinez. Mercado. And when Stephanie Mercado is on target, that's trouble. And the LSU is the first team to get to eight points. We will be back here at the Loud Arena in San Juan. here at the arena in San Juan and let's uh, get Risa Diaz back to join us and tell us more about this game. Risa, what's up? Boom, before this game started, I was able to talk to team captain of the DLSU Ladies Fighters, Ila Santos, and he admitted that after that unfortunate loss, we all felt bad, but they know that they can stay long on that state. Now, they strongly believe that they can make a big comeback today and there would be no more excuses. The Ladies Fighters carries a high morale and they're very much excited to come and play today. They said that they're going to work hard to lessen their errors, most especially on the service area. Likewise, they're out to bring a more intensified game, whether Shira Gonzalez, the gunner of FEU, will play or not, to push this series till Sunday. Boom. Thank you, Riza, and incredible job doing the awarding ceremonies, by the way. Yes, definitely. Riza Diaz. As an FEU point, 9-8. This is how it's going to be. Game number two, FEU only needs to win this game to claim its 30th crown. An unprecedented Ooh, record. 30. That's a lot. Nice shot. Very. Lasal trying to extend the series to a game number three on Sunday. It's Sunday, right? Yes. Play again. Lasal only one loss throughout the season was against this FEU team. Classic five setter. FEU. Lasal obviously, because of what I just mentioned, has not lost here. The first game was the first loss of the FEU. It's hard to say. Usually. Usually. Serve over, the diamond goes to Dacius cross court. Martinez continues to set up Ila Santos back line. Rachel with that familiar hop, she's checked by the twin. She wants one one more time. And she goes down the line. Changing it up, the veteran playing in her last year shows some smart posing. My goodness, that was a very difficult shot. You can see here the slow mo, there was just oh. enough space for oh. that ball to go in down the line. Better wow. for uh, FEU. Shot through. Too easy. Havana tip. Send it over to the other side for an easy ball. Morado is there. That is again. Two men block this time for the side. They go back again. And Rachel powers it through. the two blockers. That's trusting your own skill. Right? Right. Okay. Laka na na-unay. Go again. And uh, also the 
Center, Jose Opa, and yes. you can see the confidence in yeah. the face, in spite of the Filipinos' dance, you still yeah. get the creation. How are you there, right? They go to her. Great coverage. Mercado loading it up. Did you see the Playing in her third year, you'll see a lot more. Uh, Stephanie Mercado, the shows at the end, jeered by the crowd. Doc is from the other side, puts it away. Boy, she's heating up early, Mosey. Just uh, with the help of the Jets, Doc is showing us a lot of ways getting those points. You know what? She usually stays in the background for the first two sets, lets the teammates do their stuff, but now she's starting early. Probably also partly because she knows Tyra Gonzalez is not there, so she has to take charge, and she is the captain, the leader of the ship. Mercado again, close to the net. Cabana with a tongue out. Says, I can handle that, but they couldn't handle this. Mercado, and the psychological war is being won by FEU right now. A wall set three blockers for La Sala and Morada able to sneak it through. So even the advantage of La Sala the net is not working in this first set. And I think it's getting to them. It's getting to them, Mosi. It's getting to their heads right now as FU is toying with them. You see it in their faces. Very much affected right now, and they, they are down by three points. 14 serving 11. Mary Rose Cabana, we haven't seen her in a while. You know, Viva stepped up. Tianco started playing well. Cabana faded into the background, but now she's needed a shot of Gonzalez's house. Uh, Jackie Alarcon. Oh, but she twisted in her last, uh, her last attack. Receiver. She gets it back. That's rare. And she has the point in. Usually the receiver will not get the set right away. It takes a while before you back up and before you load up. That's why you need a bit of a reception. Especially if you have a new setter, you should put up the reception. And when you talk about heart, FEU is tested. They showed that last year, being down a, 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 a game, and they still won two straight games to capture the crown. And this is mostly the players that did it. And they're now up 16 to 13. Back in a moment. Watching game number two of the finals, uh, the women's volleyball tournament for season 71 UAAP. Espamilar, the coach, looking for 3-0, and they want it today. They want it all wrapped up in a nice red, no, 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 yellow ribbon. Yellow and green Girl, yes. ribbon. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> and they're looking good at uh, 16. Serving 13. Boom Gonzalez together with Mozi Ravenna for ABS-CBN Sports. We are so glad to have you with us live on Studio 23. Alarta, too high. And FU is scrambling for that one. Real strong here in the first two sets. They say, you know what, they're doing like FEU, eh? so they should take advantage of that. But now it's FEU who's really very cold. You can feel that they really want this game. Well, Miranda's gonna get warm. All the, but you can't blame her, all the emotion because she's 
Sabi ko nga si kanina, no, Mozi, ginup buong season, halos kinupkot niya yan. Wala kang makita kay, kay uh, Maika Morata. Ngayon, biglang ganun. The star has come to play. The better at two. He has one championship cup. on the bench for moral support. Boy, as Mosey said it in our pregame, when she came in from the locker room, this place exploded. Rock the house. Every FEU fan here was shouting Gonzalez. Yeah. shouting her so, name. So, I'm happy now. Because I can see it. For a while. For a while. Serving 14, Lasal needs this time out, Mosi. and crispness to the, the uh, game of uh, their barangay. <laughs> barangay this, this is not the Lasalle that we know. This is not the Lasalle that we've seen take apart. They're actually kind of deep. half a second slower in their motion, in their actions. Sabi nga, tama si Coach Ramin, ang bagal ng malo, ang bagal ng reaction. And you know, it's all in their head. It's all in the head. Also and a team that has been in the championship series once before. This is almost the same team that Pagan is there. You have Murata, you have Rachel Land, you have Shaila Gonzalez. And a touch of the net by Ila Santos. We saw it from the ball. She knew it. Tried to hide it. She knew it. And the errors of uh, the Lady Archers giving them more than problems. There, that's the touch. Great eye. Divas. Jack Cruz, although a little confusion on the LaSalle end, giving another chance. Kapanik on the, on the attack. This is Santos sends it to the back. Jose opens up to Divas. And it touches the line. Boy, a deflated Morales. The word there, they look deflated right in the first set. They call it another time. Pride, they didn't have pride. Masyado kayo nagnararatil sa blocking. Isa na, nandun na yung bola eh. Bakit di ba natin mapwestohan yan? Bakit kailangan pa natin magunin yung isa rito? Eh, wala nyo hindi binibigay dito. Dito lang nabibigay eh. Pumwesto na lang kagad, oh. Bantayan nyo na yan. Hindi naman nagdadak. Awkward na yung spiker. Di ba? Pag nasa gita, hindi nyo na mabutig. Dalawa, bantayan ka agad. Kulang ka dito. Usually, in moments like this, Coach Ramil's voice is high and he's speaking so fast, but he looks like he's trying to calm his team down. Yeah, I think he understands yeah, the pressure. Oh, in the, in the final state, the pressure is the pressure of the uh, Lady Archers. I want to point out that I don't mean anything by saying this. The men's team of Lasaka tries to be the advantage and they lost to UP. And it was the pressure. You saw the game, you saw the fear during the final four we covered that. They look so pressured. They look so tense, they look so tight. And it, obviously the LaSalle fans watching on TV, or even here, are hoping that's not the same case as the best server. Proves why she gets that award this year. Another point easily taken there by Andrew to serve. 
is the Morada of last year, Mosi, that's playing right now. Not the Morada of the elimination round. So you can say that si Morada is the championship game. Well, I guess... Loves to play in the finals. Yeah. Even in the semi-final rounds, he played pretty well. I think she understood the urgency that they needed her. They needed her. So bad. By the time Shider Gonzalez left in set number four, some people thought it was already a one ball game for FU, kahit na set number four, nanalo yung Lasal. Nawala si Shaira, pero the momentum and the morale of FU was so high in that game. And you know, the real big advantage of the FU's crowd is their example is when they lose a set, yes. you don't see those that dragging body language. Instead, they want to get the character. Because they know the best thing they do here. Oh, he's still there. Yeah, no, you know, a little luck will turn, right? A little luck will turn. Lasal looks rattled. Ila is telling her teammates to focus, even though Hing is having problems. Hernandez, too easy for FEU. Cabana finds the open spot, and set number one goes to the defending champions. A complete reversal of what happened in game number one. Uh, please stay tuned for this continuing saga as the DLSU Lady Spikers look very demoralized right now. We will be back. The mammoth crowd here at the arena in San Juan Triano number two in the finals trying to witness probably the last day, depending on how uh, DLSU responds to not only the loss in game number one, but the loss of the first set, Mosey. Well, we expected a different thing. We expected DLSU to come out strong. Actually, they started strong in the first about three points. But after that, it was really FEU was more aggressive in this first set. And, uh, you know, what was needed FEU was the little contributions from, let's say, Kapanag and Vivas and Tiago. And they did just that in the first set. So, some points coming from uh, the... the Second, the, the bench war, the bench people, the bench players of uh, FEU, and uh, it really worked for them into taking that first set. And then, among Lasal, really after the siguro first five, six points, they turned out yes, flat. Exactly, no they came out with so much energy. Yes. And actually, I was about to say, Bozi, during the awarding ceremonies, when we were still in the production room, I was looking at Lasal, and they were very loose outside of their locker room. I, I figured, oh, good sign for them. They look like they shook off their tension already. But you, you nailed it on the head when you said after the fifth, sixth point, when the crowd got into it, and FEU started taunting them already, parang nasir nasiraan nito. No, well, you can see here the attack points, FEU with 14 attack points against the 9, only of DLSU. And it's DLSU now dominating even in the blocking oh, department. You know, you know that's bad. Exactly, <laughs> that's the biggest advantage of the De La Salle squad. And look at the errors of uh, De La Salle against 7 as against 5. And this is a game without Shaira Gonzalez playing with FEU. Like I said, as I said uh, earlier, this, this is now a mind game. Oh, definitely. It's a mind game. You can even sense it through the timeouts of Coach Ramil is trying to be calm, trying to be connected, maybe to source of some oh, uh, source of stability to the emotions of her you know, it reminds me of that men's volleyball championship last year. The FEU and the UST of FEU with the likes of Lopez and Mabaya on that team. The strongest team really for me.
They're still not looking sharp. Look at that. It's FEU winning the blocking game. And blocking, yes, it, it concerns height. It concerns all of the other things like timing and all that, but it also in, includes your willingness and your determination to really get the job done. Basketball and basa, your basa. willingness oh. to go for defense. Basa basa play, eh? Teams have met each other. They split their assignments in the elimination. Great block that time by the to win. Charlene Cruz. Turn it around, no? Yes. Dakis. Here's to Murada again, off speed. Santos. Martinez opens up. Stephanie loads up the attack. And so, I don't think it was the attack she was looking for, but it worked out for them. This is a confidence problem by DLSU, and they're trying to fill up that tank once again. They're in the lead, four serving two. Dakis, back set. And the blocking now of LaSalle is working here in the second set. Okay, you're blocking is a matter of dogs, Sebastian Hall. It's the same point. It's the same point. Impact. Morale, oh yeah, the impact of having a block. And I would really say that it's their blocking that has really gotten them to this finals. That's the big part. Nobody could stay with them in terms of the blocking as Morada looks for the spot. Miscommunication, miscommunication. The to the title, we said they have to keep room on their coverage after the spike and the block. You know, you said earlier that Coach Ramil in the timeout, what to do, what to Masa Lagi is a block, not to be there behind the blockers. That's an excellent point, Rosie. Free ball for FEU. And Morada is there. Check. Battle of the net, to win again. To win not a favorite of the FEU crowd. Trying to do everything to make her teams be more aggressive, be more lively, enjoy the games. I feel like the Santos are trying to enjoy the game. I really want to, and I also want to see Ida be a little more active in the second set. running attack. We, if you guys have not noticed FEU going to the quick, well, that's because they're number one quick artist, so to speak. Shannon Gonzalez is injured and playing in this game. And yet, they're still looking good. Oh, that's a nice play. Oh, it went back. Stephanie, at the back line. Morada again, that running attack from behind. Funsi Melissa. Oh. Again, three balls to FEU who are behind just by a point. They open up to Vivas. It's out. Check ball. Six off. Body language says a lot in the game. All game phase for FEU today. You can feel that they have come prepared. And confidence.
historic venue for game number two of the UAAP Women's Volleyball Finals versus the DLSU Lady Spikers and the FEU Lady Camaros. Mika Murata was all focused before this game started. I love that you had a chat with her. She said she's confident that destiny could be fulfilled later this afternoon. They know that they cannot do anything about Shaira Gonzalez. All they have to do is to pray for her speedy recovery. But just seeing her on the bench is already a big help for him. Their pres her presence alone is enough. The whole team, according to Mike, agreed that they will stand up united and all fulfilling their role in helping each other finish another championship round by later this afternoon. Thank you very much, Riza Diaz, patrolling the sidelines here at the arena. It's the one Portage Morada and, of course, the fallen hero, Shadow Gonzalez, sprained foot. Pretty bad sprain at that as Rivas tries to swipe it. Masal getting a little momentum here, a couple of points stringing up. That's Shira. What an incredible talent. Up. What an incredible. Ready to, she was warming up. She was actually hitting the attacks earlier. That's out. And this is where they're going to miss Shira. Because now. Put the stop when they're on the oh. run. Well, I see Rachel, they haven't gone to Vivas a lot. This is where Shire really comes in. It's actually the rotation when Morada is at the back row. Then sila mahihiyakan. Michelle got the win. Able to put it away for the 11-8 lead. And now it is Coach Ness that calls the timeout. representing Ateneo de Manila University. Of course, the libero that uh, that uh, Coach Nespa Pilar was alluding to was Melissa Gohig. Yes, because we can see here that she's, uh, whenever Morada is uh, hitting the running spike, she's actually in the mid-court. I wonder if uh, that's the right position. She should stay at the back row at least because it's easier to run up Baham front. Oh, okay, it's a wow. That's a great point you made. Which it is, and that's why she wants Morada to go to that uh, running hit. This time she tips it to the middle. Shaq Cruz rolling over, but unable to get the ball. It is 9, the serving 12. Set to game number 2 of the finals. Go Hing sends it back right away, and he goes to Vivas. And this time then. Totally mistimed that hit. It was a gift coming from Gohing out of nowhere, but and even that, I mean, even Gohing is out of it. She's had a few reception errors here. She's usually one of the steadier, if not the steadiest, liberos we have it down. Check ball. Vivas serving 10, serving 13. Marta saw the hole, she saw the hole. Credit that to Martinez, that was a great set by Martinez. Going for a quick hit. I want to see Alarka's reaction after that. It's, she won a point, but she didn't feel like she won the point. Yeah. You know what I mean? Great you know what I mean? Face, The point that that's it. opens up. Oh, wow. Hit by Mercado. Set back by Paganas. Violation called an FEU. They're going to Nessazer, but you know, they still they were 
able to take that one. Look at that. It was almost a short point coming from Mercado, but still, oh, FEU stayed on. Obvious, obvious. But what about Mercado? You have to have a camera for this girl. Incredible form. Joust. Martinez sets up Mercado once again. Block on her. Go in. Gets it up to Alarca in the middle. They're the first deep to get to 16 here in set number two. Technical timeout. We'll be back. Coach Romil de Jesus, not too shabby his record with uh, <laughs> the LSU. But it's been a while. 2006? Ah, uh, your last. 2004 2006. And then after them, it was, uh, what, USD? And then Adamson. Uh, yeah, Adamson, sorry. Ad F the game between every and Adamson. Na supposed to be, no? it was an Adamson year, yes. pero itong oh. FU talaga. You can never tell. Yes. Oh! I almost say another point there by going to the green. Woo! I'm going to go to the green. I'm going to go to the green. I'm going to go to the green. You can see their faces. You can see. They don't celebrate as much yeah, as the exactly. FEU does in every point. The DLSU is a good team with a lead. 17-11, it's not safe, but they're a better team with a lead. It's when they're catching up that they have problems. Cado again. Puts it away. This time, Ricardo loving that. And I think a timeout will be called by Coach Ness coming on. Listen to the defending champions. Time out to break the momentum more than anything else. No instructions there. Atuwa lang ako, sabi niya. Nalibang kayo eh. Laki na bigla doon naman. Don Montinola, of course. Uh, Mark Molina. Of FPU standing by. And China, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. This is the situation. A shot in the arm. You know, this may be a very smart move by Coach Tess Pamilar. For emotion purposes. Yes, exactly. Something to pop up the girls a bit. Wow. And they go to her right away. And what? This is this is looking like a. Uh, what a way to score that point. She serves after. It's that point coming from Shaira Gonzalez. Not the usual power, powerful point oh, coming from her. Well, well, strength. She's going to be replaced right away. I think the coach Ness just wanted to make a point to bring back that energy that they didn't have. A la Willis Reed. Well, well you know, NBA it's also a, a risk on his part. Oh, yeah, definitely. That injury could oh. aggravate. Martinez up to Cha, off speed. Oh, sorry, that's uh, Mercado off speed. That time didn't work. a liability on defense that's for sure she won't be have she won't have the same lateral movement as she did but to win Hossein digging it up Vivas rejected at the net offensive block this is what the foul should go going back to your keys no? right you, you advantage to that I mean the first it was the advantage of FEU you're right Cables return, so to speak. Go to Ila. Taganas. Too easy for her, she says. Morada. 
Oh, a chance here for LaSalle. Manila Santos. Very good ball. Chance ball. LaSalle again. Martinez up to Ila again. Blocked. We go back to the captain. Easy ball for Jose. Vivas will tip it over. And Chuck Cruz said, go away. Good rally there. Probably the set is already the sound set, so why why risk it? Yeah, just prepare them for the next set. 22-7-13. Stephanie Batata. Morada. That's it. Not just yet. It's called in by the line judge. Notice how Morada is starting to go in. Again and again. What a, or what a story also for the two setters of these teams. April is saying coming in and taking over from the great setter Wendy Ansemano, the MVP exactly. of last year. Same way with Martinez coming in for Delia Saez. Exactly. Martinez, her first tour three games, she had major problems setting, even with the wins that they had, the major problems setting. And then she improved drastically for this Rosal team. And now about April Lose, well, we all know what happened just a while ago. She is the best setter of the 71st season of the UNAP. So many years now wow. for her. Wow. Second year. It's a great block. Back set. Shaw Cruz finding a spot. Vivas keeps it alive. Oh, and they cross the line. Coach Ramil, a smart timeout by Coach Ramil as Jack Cruz crosses over. The referee saw that one. For being such an accommodating host here. He comes here to watch a game. So exactly. I think beside him was, was Mr. Manguera. Even the Final Four, even the eliminations, so there were some games that he was here. For sure, he's very, very he busy. The game. Yes. He's, I'm sure he's very, very busy, but there are times that Siguro may konting bakante sa schedule. Natabo na ako sa kabilang bahay ko, sa arena. The house that JV built, the player JV built. For volleyball. <laughs> Inaangkip ko na, oh, for volleyball. Oh, because really, oh. volleyball has grown in this position. That's a great point to make, Ozzy. That was the sport of volleyball, especially women's volleyball. And the growth of the arena in San Juan are going hand in hand. Helping each other out, as we see Cha Cruz serving 23, serving 17. Vivas sending it over. Chance for a quick play. Morada. Mercado keeps it up. Ila Santos goes to the back line. It goes back to LaSalle. Martinez opens up to Ila once again. Pagana says again. Haven't you learned? And you know, DNSU should close this set if they really want to stay on in this game. If they give this set to FU, you know, momentum will really go to FU. And I think Ila has been so predictable. 
the ball and where she's going with her attack. So it's always cross exactly court. Exactly correct. You have flagging cross court now, so she should go down the line, but the blockers are there for FEU. Well, the best server has had two service errors here, giving Lasalle a set point at 7-2. Yeah, much needed break there for Lasalle. A much needed set. They need this set for their advantage. Definitely. They're going to get crushed if they, lock, if they lose this set, uh, Mozi. The win gets it over. Zimana digging. Gonzalez is back. We didn't even notice. Martinez goes to Ila. Ila winds up. She went down the line, but Taganas was still there. Goodness. Ila again. Taganas just so focused on this game. Gonzalez oh. puts it away and with a facial. Oh, my. What an impact play by the injured player of the most favorite player of the FEU fans, too. Watch that. Watch this again. Look at that hit by Shaira Gonzalez and to Shelda to win. And what did I say? There's nobody better in terms of quick hitting for FEU than Shaira. And that's, that's what they're missing. You know, even if, let's say, this had goes on to win this set, that impact oh, the boy. from Shaira Gonzalez will... Takis is back on the front line. You see, this message is being sent, Mozi, about the Heads up on Ayon. Now, they have uh, come back a bit. Let's see, go to uh, the south. the big FEU crowd. You know, the Look who's here. Vice Benda. Well, one of the standard comedians. He's here to enjoy the game. Who is he rooting for? The crowd, shall, the crowd ah. shall stay in more, right? Oh. <laughs> and, of course, another comedian in the house. <laughs> Alec K. Well, may alam lahat. <laughs> Obviously, fan of all. Ila Santos in the middle. A couple of impact plays. And now Rachel is back. And, you know, oh, pressure creeping up the backs of the Lady Spikers, Rosie. My goodness, the resiliency of this FU squad. And that character. Yeah. It's just, it's just, just it. oozing with confidence at this Prove point. Prove it. Test it. And they're bringing it out again. And it all started when we brought back Shaira Gonzalez. With that great hit by Shaira <laughs> Gonzalez. Well, I don't mean that because it hit me yeah, yes, the way, yes. but you know, it really attack. woke up FEU. Gonzalez wins the set, finally. They had a hard time, but they finally win the set, which makes set number three a very really crucial oh. set for a good squad. It's going to be interesting. Oh, yes, definitely. What strategy will we see? Gasal now walking across the court still doesn't look like they want the set. Well, FEU still has their bounce. They are the defending champions and they're looking for crown number 30. Back here as uh, the arena is quiet, but uh, give that a few seconds, maybe around 10 seconds. We're going to be back to our normal decibel levels here as we are in between sets. If you just joined us, we're live here at Studio 23. LaSalle winning set number two, but the word, the key word there, barely winning set number two. Yes, exactly. It was a different LaSalle squad in the onset of that second set, they but... Had, they had enough cushion. Yeah, they they put cushion. Na lang, put uh, na with that uh, big uh, advantage. But, oh, you know, they started off real strong. We thought that they were more aggressive. They were in a different mood. But at the end, when the uh, uh, FEU started to creep up, that it scored a few points, string up a lot of points, and then, you know, unti-unti na itong Lasal again faltering in their spiking.
speaking and the reception errors and even the decision making of uh, Martinez into giving it always to Manila Santos that is being well read by FEU has done more damage than good for uh, De La Salle. But still, because of the big caution, caution they were able to win that set. Pero talagang, again, ano, the, nung, nung beginning up to the middle part of the set, nakita natin, oh, mukhang it's a different uh, LaSalle. LaSalle. They, they're more aggressive, they were smiling already. Pero, no, itong FEU came back with that Shaira Gonzalez quick hit, even hitting Rochelle de Tawin. And, and just the fact that Coach Ness brought her in exactly. made such an impact. You know, Coach they, Ness really pushed the right button on that second set. So even if, if you lost that set... Oh, they, they felt good about themselves. While LaSalle, we you didn't right. see it on cam. As you see, Shaira Gonzalez hitting Michelle that to win with a facial. Then Rachel Dock is following it up. Somehow put pressure on LaSalle in that second set. Look at the reaction of Rachel. I mean, lamang pala lima, LaSalle na na. Very reaction na. Hey, you do not even see the disparity in their Finally. Finally, again, the biggest advantage of the LSU in their blocking. Again, you, you, again, they took advantage of that. But if you still had two block points. Oh, that's not even a full stretch. Rachel and Dacus, but she still is able to find a spot to tie the score. One all, one set all. But FU leads the series and only needs to win today. To make you know, it a uh, uh, back-to-back finals. Boom, in that last play, that was uh, possible for Rachel and Dacus because there were no blockers in front of her. But this time, there were no blockers. Pala. Pwede pa rin. Ayun, full, full strength. Point. Full wind up naman. Ano? Rachel and Dacus was a little bit quiet in the second uh, set. But I'm sure he's aching to get back. Another set here from De La Salle. Chuck Cruz with the approach to Ganas has been all over the place. Goheng, Santos. And that's a net violation by FEU. And the floor defense of FEU is what we saw in the finals last year against Adamson. You're so right, Boom. The floor defense in our keys to the title, we mentioned that they should be consistent with their reception. So now they are really having a good receiving day. Again, that is for her third point here in this set. Fifth-year player. The story between Rachel and Dacus, who has become the face of the UAP. And Ina Santos, another 50-year player for De La Salle this time. Martinez goes to Jackalaka, overcooks that one. Emotionally or otherwise. Morada. Cha is there. They go to Stephanie Mercado. Oh, nice dig by Rachel. But Tiango could not save it. But look at look at Rachel. You know, she's she, she really 
looks like she won the point still. And we keep saying this, Posey. I mean, for people who play sports, sometimes that's what, what tells the difference yeah, between a that's winner true, that's true. and a champion. A winning attitude. Oh. Vivas. And you know what? Your teammates will oh, no, take after you. To me, it's a gift. You know? uh, some players really have that, that gift that you can... Leadership. Uh, oh, you can... Uh, and I look at pop up your oh. other teammates just by you know playing your game. But lalo na iniidolo pa naman to si Rachel ng kapwa player niya at saka yung mga taga-skwela. So whatever she does becomes... Reflects. Oh. Oh, nakabagahan si Vivas at saka si Rachel and that is the collision that she called. Yeah. I think she's a little woozy right now. She needs a little to recover. Let's look at that again. Let's see the collision between Divas and Dakis right at the cheekbone. Well, you can see the focus of Dakis really running after that first ball, not minding that there was a teammate there. You want to win a championship, sometimes you really get hurt. Mila Santos, I think that's the most perfect play that I've seen for her so far. Mila Santos should really now carry her shots. She should go down the line or do a power tips. Yes. And look for the open spots because uh, if he's reading her quite well, and because uh, Martinez is giving it to her yeah. more often, it's better in the up Vivas. Ball was delayed a bit. Martinez goes back to Ila again. Down the line, Tianko's there. Easy ball. They go back to Ila. He powers that one through. That was pure power over the single block of the smallest player, Ethan Jose. This is what they did to Ateneo when Ferrer was there blocking. And now the LSU leads 8-6. to the action here at the arena in San Juan and Molana just drilled one in to make it seven serving eight Shira Gonzalez Matt marches back into the play let's look at that that familiar running attack that Lasalas had a problem with throughout this game movie. and again oh. the blockers were there pero malambot yung blockers ng Lasal alam mo si Shira kahit na wala nang lakas yung paa niya yung wrist niya talaga yung ano yung That's wrist true. talaga it's the wrist action yan na naman you can factor kasi yung snapping of the wrist and if you're Lasal now that you see her hitting that way you cannot take her for granted you cannot take this girl for granted this is is there I mean can you even measure the heart of this girl right now I don't think so and you know in this game I didn't even think that Coach Ness would put her in yes it's too dangerous a risk. That's eh? true. Baka lumala yung injury. That eight ball, Shira again! Puts it through! Oh my. This is just scoring at well at this point. This, this is... This is storybook for FEU. This is too dramatic. <laughs> oh. I mean, would you even ask for anything more? And the best server of the league clips the line. that really never went away is still there. Santos again. Santos says, bring it on. Rachel sends it to the other side. Martinez goes to Ila once again. Ila. And Taganas has been... Taganas has been present. You owe that point to Taganas. And you know, Taganas wasn't even smiling. She was laughing the whole way. She just... He has gotten the number of Ila Santos. He's got the exactly. number of Ila Santos here. Look at that save. Look at that dig. And then the finishing touches for Cherry Bay Vivas for the 11-8 lead. Hey, 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 hey. Under the gun and under pressure. But Shamildes is the number one team coming into Final Four. The number one team. The 
all the eliminations and final four games were done. The number two team was this one. Coach Nesto Villar and FU. They now lead 11 to 8. And they lead the series 1 to 0. Watching this drama unfold live on Studio 23, courtesy of ABS-CBN Sports. Good Gonzalez, Mosey, Ravenna with you. Reza Diaz patrolling the arena in San Juan. Chance for LaSalle, too close to the net. Ball is still alive. Gonzalez will set up Vivas. Vivas will roll it to the other side. They open up. Angela Santos has been checked time and time again. This time she goes up speed. Oh! Oh! Wow! Oh. 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 Like this one, off speed naman because the ball always goes to her. So if you reading her easily. Nine serving 11. Now he's down two here. Gonzalez sends it to the other side. See that strike? Oh, great. Great touch by Jack Alarco. Memory. Spot there. Something that's huge but he does know in this game. It's a bit missing. We actually haven't seen them go to her on That's a great uh, observation, Bozzi. Oh, look at her. Every time she goes up, I cringe. And she's, what she's doing is she's landing on her healthy foot. Right. You can get a that because uh, she's taking care of the injured foot. But it's not a power to have You know, it's really uh, something technical. You should really follow it. You should really follow it. Shira, quick again. See now that Shira is there, that option is open up for him. You. Yeah, all inside. Instead of taking advantage while Shira was out of the first set, they gave it to FEU. Really, no? Uh, now that Shira's in, para na double my confidence ng FEU. If FEU wins this one, that is the story of this series. Of this game, at least. They forget everything else. Well, whether whether they were number one, number two, yep. didn't there, matter. I mean, that it will. That's the cherry on the ice cream of everything that they showed throughout the season about coming back, resiliency, and all of that. Shire Gonzalez is now showing that. And there's. Now you, you can really see how much this is oh, at wow. this point. Is that a rotation problem? Yes. So they give the ball. They the 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 Point up. 13 all. This is going to be, it looks like it at least, a select fest now from here on in. Great set by Jose. Incredible saves of Wendy and Semana on that set. Kneeling down. It's as if si Wendy Semana ang nakuturo dito kay Jose. Feeling ko chinachan. Pinanood yata ni Jose mga tapes ni Wendy. Paano ba? Para mawala yung ano, void. Kailangan pareho yung game namin. What's the ball? Oh, and it's yet violation at oh, and Rachel. number Rachel. number three, Rachel. Rachel at that. See it here? Oh, yes. Oh, great ball. Great ball, by the way. Marka serving. She hasn't been a factor much. Her body language is a little sluggish. But she gets the point. That serve, 15, serving 14. You made mostly about we haven't seen a power tip in the middle from Jack Alarco. You would see at least three or four a game from him. It was always a short point for LaSalle each and every time. Stephanie in the middle. Shira able to dig it. Alone was Shira Gonzalez, but still just able to dig that ball. This is not for real. <laughs> this is not for real, Mosey. <laughs> 
Back here to back here in the arena with you guys. And we are at 1614 coming off the timeout. Dakis sends it back. Larka going to Mercado, a little off uh, what she's usually used to. Dakis sends it over. And she once again goes back to Stefan. Stefan likes it closer to the end, but she makes two of uh, that set. The lead is swelling here in set number three, a very crucial set for both teams. Oh, I remember that set number two, but then lang, Lesa was able to, to put up, let's say, they were up by seven points, eight yeah. points. So I still they were able to win that set. It's a power tip. That's what you call changing it up. Rachel has showed a full variety to today. Did like that, obviously. Remember last year, game number three, she was the one who killed Adamson towards the end of that game. And the star of FEU, you know, putting Adamson University away. I mean, you know, can it get even more poetic? Oh, and that win gets a facial back on Morata on the block. This, this is getting to be more interesting for the fans. Now this is the fans stuff to see. Gets personal from here on in. Lasalle 15 for FEU. If you just tuned in, let's recap. Both the teams getting one set apiece, but Rachel Ad and the rest of FEU leading the series 1-0. Looking for their 30th crown in the history of women's volleyball in the UAAP. As Morada makes the adjustment <laughs> and fooled everyone. Look at that top spin hit. Morada making that point. And that is what Coach Papilar was telling his girls in that last time out. Well, uh, that's why they're able to set up quick plays. And that's their real big advantage. The quick plays of uh, Morata and uh, uh, Shaira Gonzalez. Another bad set there. So also not getting the sets that they want. Uh, error by Morata. you unraveling here. They're down four points. 20 serving 16. Oh, great decision by Rachel. Tyra's back. And she's at the front line. Obviously, she's there only for offensive purposes. Now, if you need better receptions so that they can uh, get some points out of Shira while she's in front. Oh, especially with Shira. Oh, great. Great touch by Santos on the off-speed. Santos varying her attacks. Uh, coach Romil got to her, didn't she? Didn't he? He did. Just a few reminders. That's what the coach is there for, yeah. Exactly. Sometimes you're so caught up with the game. Mosey, you've played the game. Sometimes you're there, you're in the thick of it with the fans and everything. You tend to forget a few things. And the coach sees things that you don't see because you're That's playing the game. That's why they call timeouts. Oh. Martinez working hard for LaSalle. Oh, it's too easy for Jack. Shira again. This is what we're talking about. Jack being very aggressive in that net. 
One more for Lasal. Open up to Santos. Oh, this Santos playing really well in this third set. Going for the off speed, going down the line, going cross court. That's now. what Lasal needs. Now she's looking at the court of FEU, reading it where to put the ball. That's how it should be. Serving 17. Saul hoping to win today to extend it for game number three. Now, Lasal looking like the team that we know. Dominating. You know, you, everybody feared Lasal going into the finals. FEU playing with no fear at all, but they're down six points. about uh, one of the best liberos also. Yeah. 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 Enjoying the game. Enjoying the Smiling as ever. Enjoying the spotlight of the candy. She's always uh, aware of where the camera is. Now he brings it. Makes her the entertaining coach that she is. Asal able to save this. And they scramble back. Sabalag. Martinez, Alarca, that's what we've been looking for. Now Alarca finding the open spots, those empty places of the FEU court. Something she's really good at with her height and with the outstretched arm. And with, with the quick hit now, DLSU is at set point. That's right, 24 serving, nine, sorry, 17 rather. Vivas. The defense of La Salas improved in this set, Mosey. Oh, most definitely. Blocking and the floor defense. Oh, what a block. But this ball is still good. Jose sends it over for the free ball. La Salas looking to put it away. No. That's wide for Jack Alarga. But I like that she's doing it now. Definitely. And she's also varying her hits. Oh, left, right. Left, right, and then slow. Natalie Mills is set. Eh. Yeah, the set. They have the ball in 18, so we 24. A few trying to come back. No room for error. They go back to Jack. Oh, this is out. what she's known for. And now she's smiling. Oh, she actually came up with she's a smile. She's like that. Now she's playing her game. Now they're a little bit relaxed. Now, Lasalle is a dangerous team with the cushions, but FEU has proven time and time again that they can come back to win a match, and it only means that set number four is going to be a doozy. So come back with us here on Studio 23. Well, the few times that you see the arena, Quiet is uh, during in between sets, and we are in between set number three, and we are going into set number four. And Lasal improved from set number two to set number three. Offensively, there was more variation. Defensively, there was there were more solid posing. Right, definitely, it was a better game for Lasal after the the timeout in the mid portion of that set. Coach Ramil stressed out the way that they could only win this game is, is that if they vary their shots and also it's through their reception because they cannot run plays if it won't start from a good reception and they did just that so they were
were able to take this set away from FEU. But FEU, you na nga, no? you mentioned a while ago, they have come out as winners in the most difficult situation yep. in a lot of games here in Season 71. So don't just count, down, uh, count them out yet. Talaga, I'm pretty sure FEU just shrugs off the, the, the lost set and then we'll just come, uh, oh, yeah. come, come in strong in the fourth set. That's for sure. They're, they're probably the most forgetful team. <laughs> You know, in a rally point system, that should be the mindset. After an error, forget that error, and then Move on. recover. They are tied with Ateneo in the most number of five setters. Six in this game. Ateneo, though, one and five record. FU is at five and one. And they're hoping to extend this one. Obviously, there's no other way to win this game but to extend it to a fifth set. And if they do, that means seven five setters this year. And they're going to try to win that one too, as you see the LaSalle followers believing that they can win this one and extend the series to Sunday. Well, look at the statistics here in that set. Win! 28 dicks! 28 dicks for DLSU wow. against the only six of FEU. But uh, look at the errors of uh, LaSalle also. 5 and 10 there. But the dig, so it meant that uh, LaSalle was able to set, set up more than FEU yeah, with those digs. Yeah, that's what we're saying, better uh, floor defense and better blocking. But the six digs naman yun ng FEU, with the smile, galing kita ganas. <laughs> six, uh, six amazing digs. Uh -huh. First point, going to FEU in set number four. Jackie, a great play. Jack Alarca now really finding her range, finding her confidence, and finding a little joy in this game. <laughs> now getting her groove back here in the last set and in this set. Really? This is very familiar about Jack Alarca. There's nobody who can stop her in that in that uh, consistently in that net. Great coverage by Taganas, but the block was too good. They should really take advantage of this. Sabi nga natin kanina, our one key for De La Salle is not to give a window of opportunity for yeah. FEU. Kasi, uh -huh. you know, they will, a, a, a team like FEU, they will just grab it and uh, put it to take advantage. Kahit na gano'ng kaliit yung, uh, yung CCV fan. Oh. Eh. Kung may pag-asa, kung may chance, eh, talagang kukuli. Kind of I think they are gonna warn Coach Ramil. Let me see. And I'm trying to read their hand gestures, talking about the referees who are chatting with the captain, Ila Santos, at the middle of the court. Uh, this, uh, they can actually talk only to the team captains of each team. Right. I guess everything is uh, A-OK. -okay. Kaya pag walang ano eh, kaya pag walang team captain on the floor, they will ask who the team captain of the floor is. Or sino player, designated team captain. All combination play. Rare combination play. Exactly. The Lasal has shown us a lot of combination plays, but this In the hour, past, no? Tama, yes, tama. but now it's also missing. A great observation once again. Still a good ball there. Look at that. Go for that one. They open up to Stephanie. The pilot says, too easy. Morada. That is for coverage. Blocked. Martinez looking for a clean one for Jackie Alarca. The pilot was there, but she couldn't handle it. And Alarca has really come alive here. Definitely a different Jack Alarca now for LaSalle. Much to their delight, to their... Uh, Advantage that to si Jack Alarca has to really play it well for the team. At hindi na to draw out uh, the confidence in her. She's a veteran. Kailangan talaga hugutin mo yun eh. At hindi na sila nagpapanik na babadzi mo sa defense. Right. Right? It's so, it's so, so uncharacteristic yeah. of a LaSalle squad. Yung first set lalo kanina. Hindi na sila nararapin. And obviously again, with a cushion. You know, two sets under their belt. Oh, they now they're events. playing more relaxed. They're playing their game now. I mean, that's the first time they actually did a combination play, right. which I guess gives you the idea how relaxed they are. 
Lasal, the number one team in the league. Only one loss coming into the finals. But FEU, the defending champion, knows what it takes to win the title. A scramble on defense. And I think that didn't go over the net yes, post. Uh, I think it's called the four touches. Uh, hit the net, actually. So let's see this time. Now the character of FEU is being tested. But we've seen that. We've seen that. All oh. we need to do is see it again. I haven't seen Morada effective since the first set, Mosey. Right, but in the silence of oh, uh, no. La Sala, si Morada. Parang nung pumasok si Shaira, na-distract din eh. You know that didn't right. work. Exactly. Ah, no? It worked both ways, you oh, know. No? Different right. ways. So let's see if Morada is able, as always. Yeah. 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 Get it to the other side, give us the same. The twin sends it on the second ball, wasting that chance. Mercado again. Over receives that one. Well, Martinez from the back row cannot oh, do that. So a violation there. But it was really a hard uh, first ball. An over Goes to Ila this time. Ila off speed. Vivas. Martinez. Shaq Cruz off speed. Oh, look at that. Even Jose getting into the action. Ila again. Oh, it was set there. Ila asking for it. Ila asking for it. She wanted it. She asked for it. Well, you know, what's happening is it because they're always giving it to Manila Santos. She would want her to stay in this game, but it will tire her, tire her off. You, Look at her. You have to pace your star players. Oh, she's breathing heavily right now, more than anybody on the floor. Dallas diving. Morada is blocked. Shaq and Tatooine tells her about it too. point that they make, they make sure the other knows it. <laughs> Seven serving five. Vivas approaching. Again, the strength of La Salle is back. Yes, it's now coming into play. Their blocking skills. We will be back. Stay with us, please. Drama continues this time at the pitch. Catch the excitement of the men's football finals. That's UP versus FEU and the women's football finals. USD versus DLSU. March 28th, Saturday, 2 p.m. only here on Studio 23. And then game two happening April 4th. Now let me tell you, two interesting games. Oh, I, I, and I had the privilege of covering last year at a great time uh, there at the, the Ateneo. Watching, awarding the intense matchups uh, happening in all of the sports here in the UAP. We are still in the 71st season, by the way. And the volleyball tournament has not been concluded. Obviously, we are at 8 5. Lasal leading two sets to one. The Twin. Beautiful cross court hit there by the Twin. She has the most awkward approach of them all. But if it's effective, exactly. whatever it takes. Exactly. You know, and Lasal should explore that cross court hit by the Twin, that uh, running hit by the Twin. Easy ball. get more points from that hit. Santos this time, off speed again. Another chance ball. Martinez goes back to Ila. Ila, too soft. Twin sends it over. Morada also with another easy ball. Martinez, second ball touch. Jose is a long rally. Nobody willing to put it away. Still no goal. 
Oh, there are a lot of easy balls here. What is he? Martinez. Well, now it's an easy ball for FEU. Rada says, I've had enough. But it's outside, it's a little wide. Lucky break again there for Lasal, for Rada. Now, now she needs to find her game. Now, now Morada is yeah. looking for that again. That it sparked the leash lead on the first set. Over received. Is now missing Shire Gonzalez, the healthy one here. That's what's in the process. Mozzie 11 to 5 in set number 4. They have the lead in terms of the games, two sets to one. And if they extend this to a game of the three on Sunday, this place is going to be exploding. <laughs> Most definitely. And I would like to see more LaSalle fans come out to support their team. Because today they're totally outnumbered by FEU. Martinez with the win. Jose, Morada. Although he could not handle that one. Now Morada scores one. Let's see. This oh. will be a start of something for Morada. And that's off a timeout, so that's a good timeout. Well, but now she's in the back row to serve. Best server. Let's see if she takes a point off the serve. Oh. And back to the three. Oh. Razor. Oh. She's weak. Send it to the other side. But the win serving now. 12 serving six. This is a big cushion for LaSalle. Their blocking has been spot on the last three sets. Alarka again. This is the girl that I think has really made the difference in the last two sets, Mosey. Yeah, when she found herself, things were different from LaSalle, uh, for LaSalle. But Ivano, now she's scoring at will. Power tips again that we missed during the maybe first two sets. Right, even the first two of this finals. Nice set by Martinez. Nice block by FEU. Alarka asking for another one, but they go to Ila who sends oh, it over. Oh, because it hit Alarka already. No mistake there by Ila Santos. Alam mo tapat pagganon. Somebody should remind. One of the teammates are maybe the set and should remind third ball or last touch. Seven, seven, thirteen. Oh man, that's an error that you cannot afford in a game like this for FEU. When your opponent is up by two sets, fighting your range. One, yeah, up by a set. The moment to pass the camera. Opens to Rachel. Oh, that's great blocking. That's Lasal at its best. Now Jama Larga from offense to defense. Now working well. It was just a key for Lasal to get their game going. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. Santa serving. Quick set. Again. Larga is now putting. The stamp on this game, Bozzi. Offensively oh, and defensively. A much needed game for LaSalle if they want to stay on in this championship and force a rubber match against FEU. We will be back.
Back here at the arena in San Juan, you know, Mozi, now that the emotion of the Shira Gonzalez effect has died down, this is where you go back to the volleyball basics. And FEU has had a problem, especially with Nassau clicking on offense and defense. Their lead, 16-7. to 7. You know, uh, Lasalle just waited for Jack Malarca to get her game going. And then after that, no looking back after that second set for Lasalle. But let's see. They still have some, some sort of confidence on their part to still win this and get out of this mess. Lasalle is the team loaded with the most weapons. We've said that from the very start. We have Mercado. We have Alarca. We have Santos. We even have Chuck Cruz, who alternates center to hitter. You even have Hernandez coming off, off the, the bench. It's really a deep bench for Coach Ramirez, but you cannot uh, measure the heart of the FEU girls. And sometimes it's what all you need, you know? It's, it's all you need. But right now, their heart is being stepped on by the talent of DLSU in game number two here. 17-8. say you can only ride emotion for, 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 for quite some time. You have, you have to go back to, you know, what you practice, what you've been talking about. Because when the emotions are down, then oh, you now count on the skills. Exactly. The skills of LaSalle now showing that was Stephanie Mercado putting it away last time. Uh, for the 10 point lead, this is the biggest lead that they've had all throughout this game. Rachel, that's too close. Tries to swipe it. Shot saves it. And then Lasanta sends it over. Back set. Ball is still alive. You know, FEU is a little, little slow right now. Stephanie again. Cross court. And you know, credit that to Martinez. Giving it to Stephanie Mercado. Now it's FEU's turn. Oh, well, I'm Oh, to be pumped up by the coach. Let's see. Somber timeout for the girls. They they really look defeated there in that in that timeout, Mosey. You know you can feel the momentum swing oh, in yeah. this game. One one moment if he's up, and then now Lasalle is, looks like that they're now more upbeat than FEU. I think FEU is realizing, uh oh, this is the team that beat us the last time and that beat everybody else. I think uh, we now we're missing Shira. Yeah. It's a big part now because the big seven. You somehow can't blame them because again, all year round, you're so used to that rotation, you're so used to that practice, exactly. and lacking the Jensi Shaira, and then all of a sudden it's taken out of the equation. Right. And she's hardly taken out of a game. She's right. taken out totally. Ayuna. Trouble starts. Mas lina pa si But again, we said when you give. Lasal, a moment of a, uh, a lead like this, they're very hard to stop. This is what they need, 10 points. It went up to 12, combination play. Goes back, back to Larka. Alive still is that ball, and joust to the net. Oh, it's a Lasal error. Oh, it's a net violation, but called on the Larka. It's a lot of the whole net, but the first one is back to Larka, so she's called for the violation. <laughs> Jack Alarca, the best blocker of season 71. Gohing, the rookie of the year. That was the best receiver right there, Ila Santos. April Jose, the best setter. 
Morada, the best silver. Oh, and Martinez gets it on the face as Rachel tries to pop up the crowd and get them behind him. It's a totally ready for that reception. But Tramiel's not taking any chances, Mosey, with an eight-point lead. He calls a timeout right away. Lead. Usually that's a little comfortable, but hey, no taking chances oh, now. Oh, definitely. Again, you cannot give anything to FEU, any leeway whatsoever. And there's a difference between an 8-point lead at 2012 and an 8-point lead, let's say, at 24-16. Oh, okay, yeah. bang, okay, bang. Gohig receiving. Combination play. Not good enough to put FEU away. Back is to the blockers. That's good enough to put that point away. Let's see if now FEU can string up some points here. And Duck is egging on her teammates. That's uh, five straight points from 28. That's why Coach Ramil got that timeout. 5-0 run. Again, Jack Alarka. Combination play from FEU. Oh, uh, but... The crowd is back into it. Another timeout. Coach Ramil. Just making sure. Look at this combination play. Alarca. Oh, sorry, that was Chuck Cruz who apparently touched the net. Obviously outnumbering the LaSalle fans, but still LaSalle leading as we serve here from FU. 14 serving 20. Chan Cruz this time. Too easy for Taganas. Takis again. Oh, great block. Larga killing that rally. Six straight points. You know, if they needed that point badly, if they want to win this game, there was a real important point. And Alarka saved it. Yes. And she goes to serve. Alarka has been the key the last three sets. For Lasan. She will be at the back line. Murata changes her mind. Sha opens up. Mercado. Great dig. Santos. Martinez. Mercado again. Is it a check ball? Yes. Just a beauty to watch Stephanie Mercado make her approach. Poetry in motion. Jacqueline now stems the tie. 22 serving 14. Dakis. Coverage was there. Alarca was there. Mercado again off speed. Morada changes her mind too. Alarca just sends it up. Rally here. Dakis. With the tip, Cha goes up to Stephanie. Stephanie puts it down. They go back line. Santos has been ready. Mercado. Oh, it's oh, still it's alive. Still it's still alive. It's still oh, alive. The violation was called. Wait. Coach from Bill is livid. Up on his feet. They he... all thought the violation was called. Yes. That's the net. The net really moved. Yes, Ila Santos said. I didn't see it, Mosey. But let's check that out again. No, this was already towards after the end. That, yes, this was towards the end. That was way before. The lead is still seven. And that hits the antenna. 22-16 now. Now, Coach Ramil off of the speed. This team will not 
not go away quietly. Never! <laughs> Defending champions. Rach Landak is 16, serving 22. FEU, Morada is blocked. Tianko, Goheng was there for coverage. Nasala's not had a good set. Morada, blocked again. Oh! Yeah, just being well read now by Lasan. Yep. You're right, Mosey. The blocking is the one that's saving Lasan here. That is so true. Two the points. The skill that brought them here in the championship is now at the work for Lasan. Two points away from extending it to a winner take all match on Sunday. Stephanie saving. Santos approaching. Paganas digging it up. Morada sends it over. Cruz. Martinez goes to Michelle. Divas will send it over easily. Martinez goes to Ila. Close to the net. Left-handed. Martinez again opens up back set. Jacques Cruz is blocked. And Gohan could not handle it. They will not go down without a fight. This FEU is really showing us the, their characters. Timer, you don't play the score. You have to keep being aggressive. If you're, and I'm talking about both teams. Lasal cannot say to themselves, two points. One who know, blinks. Oh, loses. Yeah. <laughs> you know, in basketball, the they say play not to lose and play to win. There's a difference. Lasal has got to play to win. They have to stay aggressive. Exactly. What a stop on the search of FEU. It should be right now. 12 point lead reduced to five. Santos, the captain. Morata again! Not the win! Breaking and not the win! Not the win points it! <laughs> Where it fell! Look at this! The Saiwar continues! Bang. Look at her goal! <laughs> Match point! For the DLSU Lady Spikers, the number one team in the league, looking to extend it to a rubber match on Sunday. So now Coach Ramil, Cindy Hernandez, I'm sure for the block. Yeah, Let's that's see right. Now. You're right. Hernandez is there for defense, and she does her job. Eva sends it, oh! and that's it. It's with an error for FEU. Lasal is back in the game. Lasal is alive, and they're celebrating because they know they've got their heads above water and they force a winner-take-all match on Sunday at 2 p.m., Mosey. Taking a break. It's a four-setter for DLSU. Back to wrap this baby up. The crowd here for De La Salle outnumbered definitely, but they competed in terms of the noise levels as much as they can. And they pulled this one off. Four sets. Jack Alarca really came alive. Set number two, set number three, set number four. And when we say that, offense and defense. And what a great gesture by, by Mercado and Cerveza. Oh, and that, look, that, at, look at this. That's oh, a, this that, is what UAEP exactly. is. It's sports in general. And, I mean, that's just... Forget the winners and losers sometimes, right? But that's, but that's really, just today. <laughs> that's, but that's Come the es Sunday. That's yeah. the essence of uh, sportsmanship and uh, competition here in the UAP. Great gesture by the LaSalle uh, girls. But now let's uh, go to our post-game award. Riza Diaz with our best player, Jack Alarca. Riza, go ahead, please. That's right. She's our best player of the game. And indeed, the best blocker of the season, Jacqueline Alarca of the DLS Lady Spikers. First things first, Jackie. Ano pa sabi mo? Ano ang feeling? Ano ka best blocker of the season? Ah, siyempre masaya ako. So, kailangan best blocker ko. So, kailangan ipakita ko talaga na best blocker ako. You did so much in this game. And on Sunday, talagang aasahan ka na naman ang DLSU fans. What kind of Jackie and Alarca are they to expect to see on Sunday? Yeah, una, hindi pa talaga tapos to. May Sunday pa. So, maganda namin. And lahat kami maganda talaga pa sa game na to. Good luck. We'll see you on Sunday, Boo. And they do this for their teammate, Manila Santos, who stays for one more game. That will definitely be her last game. 
But right. when it ends in tragedy, look at Fernanda Santos like hugging her and thanking her for keeping her hopes of a championship on her last year alive. These are the emotions that you can only see really in collegiate uh, competition. And look at that, the UAP. There's the venue for that. La Salle stays alive for Sunday, Mosey. Oh, and come Sunday, I'm sure more emotions will go out in this arena. That's why we invite you over to watch it here at the arena. The La Salle University against Far Eastern University, the final duel. Yep. The final match. A rubber match. The winner take all the moment of truth, as they call it, for both DLSU and FU. We would love to have you here. At the arena in San Juan, 2 p.m. Please come early. Para hindi kayo mahirapan. Maghanap ng upuan. Dahil magkakahirapan to. Sigurado. Well, USD taking the men's crown today. Congratulations to them. And congratulations to the individual awardees that we had prior to game number two of the finals for the women's division. All the uh, best bikers, best diggers. And congratulations to LaSalle for extending this series. For Riza Diaz, Mozi Ravenna, I'm Boone Gonzalez. It was an ultimate pleasure doing this game for you. And we all say so long from the arena in San Juan as we see you on Sunday for more of the UAAP on Studio 23. Thank you.